Hi there, Jeremy Cook for Flip the Switch Education here with a real quick tutorial on, on how you can create your own materials in Unity with a really simple and free way to just make as many different kinds of materials as you want. So the first thing you're going to need is just two different websites, pixabay.com and this normal map online. It's kind of got an interesting URL, so I will post that. Uh, but those are really the only two things you're going to need as far as resources. So this here, Pixabay, if you're unfamiliar with it, is millions of free images that people have uploaded for anyone to use, whether it's corporate, whether it's personal, private, doesn't matter. You not only do you not have to pay for them, you don't even have to have a subscription service and you don't even have to give credit if you don't want to. There's no requirement for that. Uh, so you just sign up for a free account and you can search for whatever materials you want. The easiest way is to whatever you're looking for, you're going to use the word texture after it and just see what there is. So we're going to look for some wood planks. I'm just going to type in wood texture and you can see there's just tons of different textures that you can choose from and you can choose any different type of texture that you want. Uh, there are some things that are important to understand when you're looking for the right texture and that's the way the lighting shows up on the picture itself. So if you look at this middle picture here, for example, you see how there's like some light patches here and some dark patches up there. Clearly there's lights shining on that. What this is gonna do is it's gonna, every time that you tile this, it's gonna look a little bit strange because uh, it's gonna have these three sections that's gonna be tiled over and over and over and over again. It's gonna look very odd and it's not gonna work. And then if you make it too big, then it's the proportions of the boards will be out of whack and then that won't look right either. So what you wanna look for is you want to look for pictures that doesn't have any shading in any strange areas. Some pictures like this one, for example, you see how there's their dark shading around the corners. Uh, if, if there's been a lens used for that picture, it like will make it bigger so that you can see it better here. See how the darkness around these edges? If you put that in there with the lightness in the middle, it's just going to make each individual tile have that same pattern. So it's not going to match with the lighting in your scene and it's going to look a little odd. So just to take note on that. So we're gonna pick this pattern down here. Notice how there really isn't any shading or shadowing on this. The same texture applies throughout. So that means when we tile it on our material, it isn't going to look strange. It's just gonna to match together. So you just click the free download. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do the 1280 by 850 for this one. We're gonna click download. And then just name the material something that's going to be easy for you to find within your materials folder. So next thing you're going to do is what well, this is what we have here is just our standard Albedo image. This is going to be your base material also in that Albedo spot. So the next thing we're going to do is go to this website, which is called normal map online. And this is going to allow us to create four different images. that's going to go along with our main image. That's going to make it look more dynamic and more realistic. So all you do is you drag your image into this area here, let it go, and then you wanna start a normal map. So the normal map is like the contours of your image. It's gonna make these floorboards appear like they have the knots in them and they have the cracks in them. So instead of just being a smooth flat image that looks like an image on a television screen, it's gonna give it that kind of contour to it. Over here on this side, this little cube rotates and it has it's nice because it has a light on it. So you can kind of flip it around and see what it's gonna look like. And up at the top, you have strength, level, and blur sharp. This is just gonna allow you to adjust that normal map to get it to how you want it to look. And then that's the aesthetic that you, as the designer, it's your choice. Do you want it to be sharper? Do you want it to be you know, more blur? So if you want it to less, less texture, you take this away and add to it. So you can just kind of play around with it until this area over here starts to look like what you want it to look like. The second, is the displacement map. This is your height map, basically. The contrast is like how sharp are the highs and the lows. And so you see if I put it all the way up to one, that's pretty bumpy. And it's not really gonna look, that's not really what that wood floor would look like in real life. So I'm gonna drop it down. And then the blur and sharp changes that contrast. And you just kind of play around with it until you get it to again to where you want it to, uh, to be, what you want it to look like. You can also come up here and just make a flat plane to, uh, to do it that way. You can see what it's gonna look like on a sphere. You can also do the cylinder, a teapot. So you can see what that's gonna look like depending on what type of material. So like this teapot one here is really nice if you're doing metal. So you can see what it's gonna look like. Uh, I often will just use the cube. With ambient occlusion, this is your AO. This is basically how the shadow is gonna look. So when the light hits it, what is that gonna look like? 
So as you adjust, depending on what your image is and what kind of contrast there are in the actual image, this will either change dramatically or won't do a whole lot. But you can see when I move this mean up and down here, it changes this a little bit. And then the specular map, the last one, this is the shininess. So this is your metallic. And this you can just kind of move till you get it where you want it. So once you have that kind of set up the way you want, you're gonna click on normal, click download. And then I simply just bring it in here. I rename it and I just put the initials after each one. It's really quick and easily. So now we have all these images up here. We're gonna go into our Unity project and we're gonna put it where we want it to go. So then you take your images, pull them in and let them import. Once they're imported, depending on what you need to do with them, as far as what your game is gonna be, um, if you're doing it for an Android game, then you would wanna import those and click the override for Android. At the bare minimum, what you need to do is to click on the normal map. And then up here in the texture type, you're gonna click on the default and drop down to normal map and apply. Okay, once all of your images are imported into the project, it's just gonna create a material within that folder. This is the easy part. Most people already know how that looks, but just so that you can see how it goes, okay, all you're gonna do is take your original image and that's gonna go into Albedo because it's like your base image. Then you're gonna take your ambient occlusion and drop it into occlusion. And then you're gonna take your height map, drop it into height map and your normal map. And then you're going to take your specular map and drop it into metallic. And then you can see down here, this is what it's gonna look like. So obviously with a wood floor, you don't have to put the metallic in there. You don't have to put the SM, but I always put all of them in there just so that I have that option to tweak it if I want to. And then you can kind of just mess with your smoothness until you get it to where you want. So you want a highly polished floor, you can have a little bit more smoothness, which is why I like to include the specular map in the metallic, even if it's not metal. Uh, so there's that material there. And then we're gonna just make sure it looks how we want it to look. So for this, it's a floor. So the best way to test that is to just make a plane. So we're gonna make the plane, go over to it, and simply drop our planks on there, come up close, and you can see it's a little bit shiny. So if I don't like the way that looks, I can come down here and play with that smoothness, make it uh, looks a little better. And then I can adjust the height map if I need to, and I can adjust the occlusion if I want to, to see how that makes a difference. And then I can also adjust the tiling if I want it to change and make it a little bit better. So there's that image right there. It's a nice looking wooden floor. Uh, again, completely free. You don't have to even worry about citing sources or any of that kind of attribution stuff. So you're gonna go Pixabay, you're gonna use normal map online and then import it into your project. Bingo, you have access to millions of different images that can create really nice looking materials in your Unity project without spending any money.